um, usually at a breakfast meeting at Windows, an eight o'clock breakfast meeting, Windows, the top of it. Right? And then going down to visit with my tenants, my new tenants. And so my mornings were spent at the Trade Center. And so that particular morning, uh, because I have light colored hair and fair skin, and uh, my wife, God bless her, had made an appointment for me uh, at the doctor. And I remember dressing to go to the doctor. I'm finally saying to my wife, I said, sweetheart, I've got so much to do downtown. I've got to cancel this. I've got to go downtown. And she said, you're not going to cancel this appointment. You're going to the dermatologist. You know, having been married now for, to the same woman for 46 years, you, you get this sense of determination on occasion, their voices. And I said, okay, okay, yes, dear, I'll go. I'll go. And then just minutes later, uh, this horrendous circumstance, uh, the first plane hitting, and then the second plane hitting, of course, with the second hit, uh, it became obvious that this was terrorism. <laughs> Uh, my children, two of my children, uh, Roger and Lisa, both work with me. Uh, they're on their way to work at 9 o'clock. As it turns out, had the plane struck 15 minutes later. It's possible! No, no, it's possible! I remember getting a call from the uh, fire department commander telling me that they were not sure they were going to be able to contain the fire. And I said, you know, we've had such terrible loss of life. Maybe the smartest thing to do is, is pull it. Uh, and they made that decision to pull, and then we watched the building. From here, we watched the building collapse. We actually talked to one of his close friends, one of his security personnel, uh -huh. who said Larry Silverstein was on his way to work on 9 11. He got a call. And he got a phone uh -huh. call telling him not to show up to work. He uh -huh. put it on speaker, uh -huh. telling him not to show up to work. Yeah. Then he called his daughter. Right. His so daughter right. worked in Building 7. He told his daughter not to show up to Building 7. Right. And his daughter, him and his daughter both never showed up to work on 9-11. Yeah. And, and what's really funny about Larry Silver?